Good morning. What is the single most climactic statement in the Gospel of Mark? It's here at Mark 15, verses 38 to 41. Then the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, so when the centurion who stood opposite him saw that he cried out like this and breathed his last, he said, Truly this man was the Son of God. There were also women looking on from afar, among whom were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, the less, and of Joseph and Salome, who also followed him and ministered to him when he was in Galilee, and many other women who came up with him to Jerusalem. But really, the, begin, the, the, the center of Mark is verse 39. The, the climax of Mark is at this verse 39. He said, Truly this man was the Son of God, the Roman centurion. We concluded yesterday morning with Jesus breathing his last and dying on the cross. And so now we're at the top of the Gospel of Mark because we have this Roman centurion. This man was in charge, perhaps, of the group that was there carrying out these executions. He had seen countless executions, no doubt, and he is watching all that's going on. And he's standing in front of the cross and watching this whole operation. And he sees Jesus die on the cross. So at that time, the veil of the temple is ripped from top to bottom. If you know anything about that veil and how thick it is and how tall it is and so on, we know this is a supernatural event. Remember, the veil was the partition between the holy and most holy places of the temple, and nobody can look inside there. That's off limits. So now this is ripped open, signifying that this ministry in the uh, temple is ended, because, of course, Jesus is the ultimate and true sacrifice, and because of that, uh, that ministry is forever ended. Jesus gives his life on the cross. But then the scene shifts to this guy, and this, this is it. Let's look at the response of this Roman centurion, this pagan, this, this heathen uh, soldier. What is his reaction to this? This pagan man, upon seeing Jesus die, says something that the, Jews, the Jewish leaders aren't going to utter here in the gospel. He says the ultimate thing. He acknowledges, he says, surely this man was the son of God. He acknowledges Jesus as what he is. And that's the climax, that's the top of Mark. Jesus was different from any other person that he'd ever seen executed. This lowly pagan speaks the truth that the religious leaders, the Hebrew leaders, are, are unwilling to speak. So the message of God's love, the message of Jesus' love for us, didn't fall on deaf ears. It fell on the ears of this pagan who said, no, this man is the son of God. I really am looking forward to meeting this fellow and hearing the whole thing from his perspective one day very soon. This man was only the first of many to accept Jesus, accept what Jesus said, and see his life change from it. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for watching over us. You have not forsaken us. You've always looked forward to the day when we would accept you. And this time when Jesus dies on the cross, this is for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this gift that we have not earned, that we don't deserve. Please, Lord, help us to embrace it, this gift fully and follow Jesus to the very ends of the age, all the way through the crazy things, that, the intense things that are coming up. Thank you for showing us Jesus crucified on the cross before us, Lord. Help us to read it here at the Gospel of Mark and have an appreciation for it. And know that he died for me personally. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Are you willing to proclaim that Jesus is the Son of God and all that that means? Are you willing to do what the pagan Roman soldier did? Here's something to think about today as you go out into your day. Think what Jesus did for you. God be with you today.